forewarn weather with cutting edge technology for the most up to the minute forecast in Southeast Michigan. This is like show and tell. I know, like, we're, all like, too. we're all just so amazed. I'm amazed by that. I just yeah. want to feel like the weight of it. It's got some weight it to it. It does have some weight to it. Touch it? I had yeah. yeah. And this one's you always hear about people body. who have them just don't know what they look like. Thank Never you. had any. Show and tell. I don't know what I was expecting, but was it wasn't that. Not expecting right? that, right. You it's like it what you said. Smaller? You thought maybe it would it would attack it, you know, how you, your body attacks something foreign right. Right, that you wouldn't think that would be that big. That's or what metal. I or, maybe I just exactly. didn't think that. I don't know. Yeah. The more you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look, talking about the more you know, I feel like we're in this strange period with these weather systems. You know, sunny today, but now you're telling us it's going to go uh, a different way. Yeah, a little bit. We need to get some rain in here. We need the rain. I mean, it's been definitely dry, and we'll get it. Uh, not a lot tomorrow. In fact, most of tomorrow will be dry, but Thursday's when we're expecting. Thursday night, we'll get a, a pretty good soaking, hopefully. 737 is the sunset tonight. We have had a few clouds move in, so it's not quite as pretty of a sunset as we had hoped for, but it is so mild to get outside, let the kids ride their bikes and burn off some of that energy or take the dog for a walk, whatever you'd like to do. It is dry tonight. Now the clouds have moved in in some spots, so it almost looks like it's about to rain, but it's not. It's completely dry. It will stay dry. 70 downtown, upper 60s in Howell, Lapeer, and also in Monroe. Tomorrow we go right back into the 60s, close to 70 once again. But we do have this, this little layer of clouds right here right now and then some clearing back out to the west. So maybe we'll get a break or two of the sunshine, especially on the west side before it sets here again. It's 737. 69 in Mount Clemens, 68 in Pontiac, Ann Arbor, and also out at Metro. Upper 60s across much of southeast lower Michigan and a good 10 to 15 degrees warmer than it was at this same time yesterday. So definitely a warmer than normal day here in Detroit. In fact, most of the country is above normal right now. When you look at these temps, I know I keep pointing this out if you've been watching us, but it just kind of blows my mind that in March it's 69 here and only 77 in Jacksonville. That's not much of a spread. I mean, we're only three degrees away from being Atlanta, Georgia, and we're close to Memphis. So it's definitely warmer than normal. Feels like we've turned that corner and suddenly it's spring, but no, nah, not, not quite yet. I'll show you the extended forecast and there's a change to the weekend you'll want to know about too. 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, partly cloudy skies. We're going to try to get through most of the day dry. So there's the big 313 event downtown tomorrow. It looks dry at this point, but what's concerning is it goes from 313 to 7 p.m. And at 7 p.m., we do have some showers south of I-94. But if they creep just a little bit farther to the north, we might have a sprinkle or two. But at this point, it does look like it will be dry. And then it'll be dry for the first half of Thursday before in the afternoon and evening, we get a better chance of more widespread rain. High temps over the next four days. Well, tomorrow will be the last day in the 60s for a while. It will reach close to 70 degrees tomorrow. Our normal high is now in the mid 40s. So your forecast for tonight, 47 degrees degrees, a few clouds, pretty mild overnight, and then tomorrow right back into the upper 60s. So the chance of rain for Thursday in the afternoon and evening, lingering into Friday morning, and then Sunday has changed now. Had to bring in a chance of a rain-snow mix. Mm. Uh, it's too far out to really talk about timing, but it's something that we are now, now watching because it's a big day for folks. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Watch. <laughs> Thanks, Kim.